Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we will talk about the differences between cash credit and overdraft. So friends, without further ado, let's get started. Cash credit. Cash credit is a facility in which banks provide short term or medium term cash loans to its customers against some tangible securities like stock, book debts or personal guarantee etc. For this purpose, the customer is required to open an account that is cash credit account with the concerned bank on which a fixed credit limit is provided. Basically, this limit is based on the certain percentage of the value of securities pledged. Further, this limit may vary from bank to bank and customer to customer. For this facility, the bank charges interest on the amount actually withdrawn by the customer and not on the limit sanctioned. Moreover, the amount is repayable on demand, that is, the bank may ask for its repayment anytime. Further, as the credit limit is based on value of securities pledged, it is changed accordingly. Coming to overdraft. Overdraft is a short-term credit facility which the banks provide to their current account holders. These are mostly businesses or business persons. In this facility, the current account holders can withdraw more amount than the amount actually standing in the credit of their current account. Suppose the customer has good standing, such as the holder usually maintains an average balance of Rs 2 lakh in his account and the bank knows the customer well, that is, the chances of default are quite rare. Then in such a case, the bank will allow the customer to withdraw more amount than the amount actually available in his or her current account. Suppose the customer requires Rs 2.7 lakh and the available balance in the account is 2.2 lakh, then also he can withdraw the same from the account. But here you must note that the holder can withdraw only up to a specified limit. This limit is decided by the bank and it depends upon the credit worthiness of the borrower. Further, the holder needs to make deposits in the concerned bank account in order to repay the debt. Besides this, the bank charges interest on the amount overdrawn for providing such facility. Also, you must note that it is repayable on demand. That is, the bank may ask you any time to repay the funds. Additionally, there is one more instance when the bank provides overdraft facility to its individual customers and that is against investments such as shares and debentures, term deposits like fixed deposit or recurring deposits, national savings certificate, LIC policies, UTI units, etc. And in this case also there is an overdraft limit which depends on the value of the securities pledged and the repayment capacity of the customer. Moreover, the bank charges interest on the amount overdrawn for providing this facility. Moving on to the difference between cash credit and overdraft. Meaning, cash credit is an account through which banks provide short-term loans to small businessmen who need instant working capital against collateral. On the other hand, overdraft is a short-term loan facility in which the customer can withdraw excess money than the actual balance in their current account. It is also provided as secured loan against investments. Next. Availability of facility. Cash credit is a form of short term funding for self employed persons and business owners so that they can meet their working capital requirements. On the other hand, overdraft facility is meant for both individuals and businessmen. Purpose Money lent by banks through cash credit needs to be utilized for the purpose of business only. The purpose can be purchasing of raw material or maintaining stock. On the other hand, overdraft facility can be availed for any purpose, be it personal or business. Further, you must note that in case of cash credit, there are high chances that the amount may turn out as non-performing asset or NPA. So to overcome this situation, the bank performs checks or audits at periodical intervals. Next, while banks provide overdraft facility to current account holders, it can also be provided to individuals against self-liquidating investments. In contrast, the banks offer cash credit facility to business persons who opens cash credit account. Next, security. For availing cash credit facility, the business must provide inventory and receivables as security for availing the loan. However, in case of an unsecured overdraft, there is no requirement for security as the limit will be purely based on the average balance maintained by the customer, his credit history and past relationship with the bank. Although secured overdraft are provided by the bank against self-liquidating investments such as fixed deposit, LIC policy, UTI units, etc. Next, 
nature of limit while cash credit limit is flexible as the company keeps current assets as security on the other hand overdraft limit remains fixed unless there is a change in the average balance next maximum limit in the case of cash credit the maximum limit will be 50 to 60% of the value of inventory and receivables kept as security whereas in case of unsecured overdraft the maximum limit will be determined by the bank depending upon the credit score credit history and past relationship of the customer with the bank however in case of secured overdraft the maximum limit will be 60 to 85% of the value of security next term banks offer cash credit facility for a period of 1 year this means that the customer can use this facility and repay the sum withdrawn within the period of 1 year on the other hand in case of secured overdraft the term will depend upon the term of security for example if your fd is for 3 years then the term of overdraft will also be for 3 years but in case of unsecured overdraft the term ranges from 1 week to 1 month so friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope the concept has been clear now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of cash credit and overdraft along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below i hope you like this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbi signing off